Hello friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with the today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So today we will uh, discuss about the functions in Scala. So uh, since Scala is a high functional language, highly functional language, it treats uh, its uh, functions as first class citizens means uh, we can pass them around as parameter or even return them from functions so today let's see how to define a function how to call it and how many like uh, how can we pass uh, uh, types of functions and how can we pass variables how can we pass functions all these things we will see in today's video so let's uh, create a new scala worksheet i'll name them as scala real 3 so first we will see the definition of the function def is the keyword for fun de defining a function then function name inside the parenthesis parameters return type equal to and the definition uh, the function body okay so if you see here equal to this is the main important thing in the Scala function so this is the definition this is how we will define the functions in Scala so let's uh, start with a very simple example okay definition hi there okay because usually people start with hello world right so just like that hi there and sorry okay And if you see uh, inside the println, I'm calling this function definition. Th here, this is how we will define a function. Definition is a keyword. Hi, there is the function name. It doesn't have any input parameters. No return type is mentioned, so automatically it will take it as a unit here in the mm, uh, like in the uh, answer section. You can see what type it has considered, and here you can see right unit means any type. Any type is called the unit is considered and when i say print ln and hi there it it, ha ins it went inside this function and it has printed hello friends you can see here right so this is how we will declare function in scala so let's look into some sum uh, how to do sum of two integers okay x comma y and we will say that return type is also int equal to and uh, inside the braces we will give it as x plus y which means it will return x plus y ok ok x is integer y is integer and why in it has insisted me is I am specifically giving the return type so which means I should mention the types here so that I can I will not be able to send a string again because the return type should be a int here but after this operation it will become a int because of that reason only it has given the error so now let's print sum of 2 comma 3 can see right 5 so this equal to is used f as a assignment operator here which means after executing this the answer is assigned okay so that is the meaning assigning function to some expression this to this expression we are assigning this function okay 
so this this is how we will work with the functions in Scala so let's do uh, getting a square square of the given integer x into x capital I and written type is int so print ln squared of 4 and 4 into 4 equal to 6 the square of 4 equal to 6 so this is how we will write the functions and as we said as I said functions can take functions as input parameters so let's create another function called func and e, um, small a I meant to say one integer I am taking and second one I am taking it as a function so if you see here the declaration uh, for normal variable we will give like this for if you are passing a function you will do like this means that function will take integer parameter returns a int this is the meaning of this line and then this overall return type is int for this function for this function also we have to give the return type right so that is the one and equal to in multiple lines also we can write like that anything is fine so f of a means here we are passing one integer and one function and that to that function itself we are passing this function as input ok so now um, let's say some result ok equal to fun this function ok to this function we have to pass two parameters so let's say 5 and squared ok so this squared is this function so it has two parameters one is integer another one is a function type for the integer I am passing 5 and for the function I am passing this squared function now let's print this result so it should give 25 5 into 5 25 so you, you understood this concept right passing a function as input to another function this is the main uh, like beauty of Scala we should say because it takes parameters as input variables as well and also I mean functions can be passed as parameters to another function okay so here instead of uh, passing a function we can directly give the body also to this function instead of here we said uh, it will take the function as argument right? I mean input parameter right so we will say some 10 is for because it the first uh, parameter is integer I will say 10 and then here we have to pass a um, uh, function right so for that function instead of sub calling another function we can directly pass like this ok entire expression we can pass directly ok and usually uh, for any short expression uh, for anonymous functions uh, we can declare the function like this ok and let's print this see 100 10 into 10 100 so like directly also we can pass like some more example also we can try if you feel this is very simple we can try with another arithmetic operations of 20 comma x to x by 10 it should return 2 ok got it right then also we can we can also pass the complex expression inside these braces so here it says very simple we have not given any parentheses curly braces or something like that right so let's put let's make it a bit complex and let's uh, add that the complexity in calling this one so let's say 5 and 
next one is function right in the function we will say what we will do is first we will take a uh, variable as val b equal to this a is already there right so we will say a plus 5 a means now what this is this uh, 5 to that 5 we will add another 5 and then when you are writing the same uh, multiple statement in a single line you have to put a semicolon for separating the lines because in Scala uh, each line is considered as end of line and if there is a break then it, it will auto automatically consider as a semicolon here we are writing the entire code in a single line we have to explicitly mention the semicolon and then we will say return b into b okay so now let's print this to see whether it works or not so this 5 it has passed here because to th to this a it will take the input parameter as 5 right as per this uh, function you have seen here no f of a so here a means this value is 5 5 plus 5 equal to 10 and here we are multiplying 10 into 10 equal to 100 clear no so this is how we can pass the beautiful uh, I mean uh, to the uh, what to say complex uh, uh, expressions also in a single line to the scala functions so let's uh, try something with strings let's create one change case function and let's uh, take a string as input and let's uh, send string as output equal to and in the curly braces mention as x dot to uppercase ok you can um, pass any fi function ok just put dot and control enter it will show you lot of function you can use any of these and try out on your own ok so what we have done is we, we have just created a function which will take the string as input gives the string as output and inside that for the input string we are making it to the uppercase ok so now let's call this function inside the println we will say change case which is this function name here this function we will pass it here and we will pass some input string because that is it is taking a string as input right so for that we will say India so it has converted that string to the uppercase which is capital INDIA and it has given as output so clear right so we have done integer operation and also we have done with the string operation similarly we can do uh, we can use flow double or any kind of operations and let's see the recursion uh, recursion means uh, call to the uh, sa same function self function is called the recursion okay uh, so uh, means um, uh, I, I will show one example for factorial okay we can uh, see how factorial function works with that you will understand what is the usually what is the factorial you all know right a factorial of uh, 3 equal to 3 into 2 into 1 uh, means um, if you take 3 a uh, minus 1 which is 2 then again minus 1 until it becomes 0 we should ca we should uh, uh, put it in a temporary variable and finally multiply it and when it comes to 0 the factorial of 0 equal to 1 okay so that's how the factorial is calculated so let's write a simple function for that so fact I am taking and we have to pass one integer right so for that reason I am taking one integer and uh, return type is anyway because it's integer multiplication is uh, done in the factorial so I am taking that as a integer and if you are checking for a long uh, values when you wanted to uh, what to say practice uh, you you have to use long here I am I will just take some single digit so that's why I am giving the integer here okay so now inside the braces if uh, we have to as I said for uh, for 0 or 1 equal to 
uh, it will be one right for uh, that's why uh, we have to give that condition in the first itself so if n equal to equal to 0 then return 1 ok we have closed everything right okay else if it is it is not uh, one, zero then return n into see how many times uh, how, how many numbers are there we have to do minus one minus one until it becomes zero right so that's why I'm saying that as to the same function I, we have to call then only multiple times if we do recursively call this function you don't have to write more times like otherwise we have to write like again take n into n minus 1 then again check whether that value is equal to 0 or not so multiple times we have to check right instead of doing that you call the same function again I will explain you with the example okay after writing the code you will understand this very clearly then you are returning then close we have already closed yeah okay so this is the function then do print ln of 3 so 3 into 2 into 1 is 6 so what happened was first we are sending it as 3 so if n equal to equal to 0 it's not 0 it's 3 so it will come here now 3 into then again fact factorial of n minus 1 n is 3 here so n minus 1 is what 2 so it will come here 2 is not equal to 0 then again it will put as 2 and again it will call the 2 into factorial of n minus 1 is 1 minus 1 2 minus 1 which is 1 it will again say come here it's not 0 so it will come to this written statement it will put as into 1 and into factorial of 1 minus 1 ok so which is 0 then again it will become it will return as 1 because here we are returning 1 right so 3 into 2 into 1 into 1 equal to 6 so that's how it has returned the 6 value here so now we are in internally I mean every, for every time instead of writing the code um, duplicate code for writing multiplying it with n minus 1 so we are calling to the same function multiple times so fact is being called inside and it's by self it is called by self inside the function body right so this uh, topic is called as recursion okay so these are the basic uh, rules and this is how we can call functions in Scala so friends uh, hope this is uh, useful to you in the next class we will see other functions uh, like other types of functions uh, how to use um, how to pass a variable and uh, how to what are the other types of functions in the next video thank you very much for watching the video